Over the last 10 years, yeah. he's the highest ranked Englishman in the Ballon d'Or. Jamie Vardy is an anomaly. His journey as a footballer has seen him beat the odds over and over again. His pure hunger for goals propelled him from the eighth tier of English football all the way to the Champions League. His story is so absurd that a YouTube video wouldn't do it justice, but I'll give it a try anyway. Born in Sheffield, Jamie grew up as a Sheffield Wednesday fan, even making it into their academy. As a kid growing up, how big was football in your life? <sighs> Everything. <laughs> But this is where the first bump in the road came, being released by his boyhood club when he was 16, a point at which many would have given up on their dreams of becoming a professional, but Jamie stuck with it. His next destination would be Stocksbridge Park, where he would spend the next seven years, making his senior debut in 2007 at the age of 20 in the eighth tier of English football, with a grand total of 761 people filling the stands. His life consisted of football one day and a 12-hour factory shift the next as he helped to manufacture medical splints and crutches. But that's the life of a non-league footballer, working a full-time job and getting paid 30 pounds per match. He even tried joining the army, but luckily for us, he was unsuccessful. Did you always believe you'd make it to the Premier League? No, so I was just playing with mates. That's all I wanted to do, just enjoy my football and one thing led to another. At this point, he was just playing for fun and that translated into a lot of goals for Stocksbridge, catching the eye of Halifax Town manager Neil Aspin, who signed the 23-year-old striker for £15,000. You will be here next year? Uh, no, I'm signing for Ibiza Town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Ibiza on holiday and I'm never coming back. Vardy finished as the club's top goalscorer with 25 goals from 37 appearances and was voted the player's player of the season in his first and only year in the seventh tier of English football. His goals helped secure the league title and promotion for the club as they agreed to sell Vardy to Fleetwood Town for an undisclosed fee. Up in the fifth tier, it was business as usual for the striker, who was now making a name for himself with his trademark pace and eye for goal. Like the pace and, and the aggression and everything, that's, that's always, always been there since, since I can remember playing football. That's, that's how I am, because nine times out of ten I'm playing against people who are a lot bigger than me, so I have to put my weight around a bit more. He bagged hat-tricks against Alfreton and Ebbsfleet, prompting a £750,000 bid from Blackpool manager Ian Holloway, which was ultimately rejected. Vardy's 31 league goals saw him finish the season as the league's top scorer, as Fleetwood won the conference title and achieved their first ever promotion to the Football League. His exploits in the lower divisions of England convinced Leicester City, a championship side, to buy the forward for £1 million, a non-league record, and it would go on to become one of football's biggest bargains. But it wasn't a great start. With four goals and 26 matches, it looked like the step up was too much for him. It even got to a point in the season where he considered hanging up the boots altogether as he struggled to find form. But Nigel Pearson and Craig Shakespeare, the manager and assistant at the time, urged him to keep going. And keep going he did. Vardy finished the next season with 16 league goals as Leicester were promoted to the Premier League as champions. And he was named Leicester's player's player of the season. Have you always got that belief that you, you're gonna one day become a Premier League footballer? Didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. <laughs> He'd finally made it to the big time, playing in his first Premier League game at 27 years old, all the way from the eighth tier. But like his first season in the championship, he used his first season in the Premiership to settle in. Despite only scoring five goals that season, the world knew who Jamie Vardy was after one particular match against Manchester United. After 29 games, Leicester sat on 19 points, and they looked doomed to go straight back down. But they didn't, only losing one of their remaining nine games and safely ending the season in 14. Over the summer, Vardy got his first England cap as Leicester said goodbye to their saviour Nigel Pearson and brought in veteran Italian manager Claudio Ranieri. This decision angered a lot of fans, but that anger was short-lived. The 2015-16 season would be one for the ages. Leicester's odds for winning the league were 5,000 to 1, making what happened beyond a miracle. With Jamie Vardy at the front of the ship, co-captained by Riyad Mahrez and N'Golo Kante, Leicester had struck gold. The consistency of the Foxes and their hard work ethic for a team that had no recognised big name players was phenomenal. While other sides around them struggled for form, they carried on, 
one game at a time, remaining at the top of the table. Jamie Vardy, their talisman, was red hot. He comes back, keeps fighting. Here, north of the wall, and then back here again. He keeps fighting. He keeps fighting. He climbed on the dragon and fought. What kind of person climbs on the dragon? A madman or a king? <laughs> He broke Ruud van Nistelrooy's record by scoring a goal in 11 consecutive games and was the most informed striker in the world. Cheers boys, wouldn't have been able to do it without all here, but um, the gaffer just said that he's going to put some beers on the coach in the plane. There's, there's nothing wrong with, with having one beer after a game, it's better for you than having a can of coke. As Leicester got to the business end of the competition, they were expected to slip up at some point and fall, but this team was destined to make history. Their loss to Arsenal would be their last defeat of the season, as they saw out the final 12 matches undefeated to clinch the Premier League title. It was an absolutely momentous achievement that immortalised that whole team. Vardy joined Mares, Kante and Wes Morgan in the PFA Team of the Year, as he was also named the Football Riders Footballer of the Year and the Premier League Player of the Season. Oh, and he finished 8th in the 2016 Ballon d'Or rankings. After the season, he scored his first tournament goal for England, coming off the bench to equalise against Wales, ultimately helping his team come from behind to win the match 2-1. It was hot property at this point, no one would have blamed him if he had joined Arsenal after they matched his £22 million release clause. But Vardy felt he owed Leicester, so he renegotiated his contract and has been there ever since. But his fairy tale didn't end after that season. His feats continued. With a matchday diet consisting of two Red Bulls, a coffee and an omelette, it's almost as if age doesn't affect him. How old are you now? 34. How old do you feel? 24. <laughs> yeah. He scored his first Champions League goal, scored the goal of the season, joined the Premier League 100 club, became the oldest player to win the Golden Boot, and won Leicester their first ever FA Cup. And in doing so, he secured the most Jamie Vardy record ever. He became the first player to play in every round of the FA Cup, including the preliminary stages. He's an unforgettable player, and an even more unforgettable character, who enjoys nothing more than winding up the opposition and enjoying himself on and off the pitch. If you chat shit, will you actually get banged? Yes. <laughs>